war slogans like keep calm and carry on and loose lips sink ships just goes to show the effectiveness of these often simple truths. And this, a guide to war publications of the First and Second World War, includes training guides and propaganda posters like those. And it's the very first single volume publication entirely dedicated to this overlooked component of uh, collectibles. It reproduces hundreds and hundreds of them, and uh, many uh, who, which are still in first class condition can, can command prohibitively high prices. There was a proliferation of leaflets and posters, so much so that the jobs associated with the printing industry were on the list of reserved occupations at the start of both world wars. Soldiers were bombarded with field regulations, airmen with updates on airborne warning systems, and radio in the Navy with enemy aircraft and submarine recognition charts and the operation of ever-evolving weaponry. The public had to know many things and about the war effort and the eventual consequ consequences and eventualities. Instruction on the Lewis automatic machine gun. An extraordinary publication. It uh, has a, a jacket price of £25 from a pen, from pen and sword, but you can buy from bibliophilebooks.com at less than half price, £12, a guide to war publications. <laughs>